Hey Danny here, and welcome to my vlog. And this is kind of uh, a carry-on, but then again, it, it's something new. I tried to repair the uh, camera and the gimbal. Well, unfortunately, it didn't work out. The uh, there was a piece that was on the camera, the camera plug, should I say, and uh, that broke. So there was no way to really hook the new. Uh, new ribbon cable to it so what I did is I super glued it to it and uh, unfortunately it didn't work out so I am stuck I'm gonna need a new camera with the gimbal and the whole you know shebang so I'll be looking on eBay seeing what I can find but um, in the t in the meantime I have a gear 360 and I'm going to attach it to my drone and I'll be able to take 360 videos from the original gimbal area. Alright. This is this is how I solved my problem. Like I said, I was trying to figure out how to get my 360 attached decently. I'd use this one, but I'd put it across the landing gear. Unfortunately that really vibrated. Even though the camera um, has got anti-vibration inside it could still tell it was vibrating because it was it was watching the uh, the body of the drone so what I did to solve my problem is I want it on the anti-vibration uh, dop uh, doppers here or uh, the suspension system well it seems as though my camera is shot now what it is I took the cover off so now all there is is just, you know, you, you've got your gimbal and your uh, gimbal um, con uh, phone, uh, motor and fan and everything on there. So what I decided to do is, knowing that I can take that right off, that's what I did. I took it right off. Oh, a little bearing there. Come on to that. So uh, I got a longer, longer screw. And then... I got it adjusted the same length that I want it because I got nuts on both sides I can lock down. And now um, with this you got to make sure you got it facing the right direction because you're always going to want the LED your LED screen facing you. So or or facing back, should I say? So this is going to face the front of the drone now by turning it around. Not that way? Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. And this has got an automatic. Um, it automatic. It doesn't matter what, what direct, uh, whether it's upside down or, or facing straight up. It will. Um, it'll, be, it'll be a correct, be at the correct angle. So now, now I can put the little suspension doohickeys. <laughs> All right, one. My fingers are dirty. I'm playing around with the bolts. This is gonna be cool now because now this is the 360 now takes the place of the, and it is a 4K, 4K 360. So I'm not losing anything. The only thing I'm losing is the fact I can't go first person. At the moment that I can figure out, I can if I'm looking at my phone, because the Wi-Fi is showing through the camera, but you're just looking at it straight through the your phone. You can't put it in a set of goggles and get that first-person view out of it. So right now, until I get my hands on a new camera, this is going to be the next. This is going to take the place. Oh, that. That's going to be great. All right. Now I can get my pins. And then my little lockdowns. And I know I won't lose it. Um, I wish I could figure a better way. There I go. All right. Let's carry that one. And I know I'm not going to lose it. Sweet, huh? 
All right, that's cool. How to attach your gear, Samsung Gear 360 camera to the bottom of your Phantom. Phantom, actually, yeah, it's gonna be the same on, on, on all of them if you don't have, if, if you've destroyed it because the only difference is is the computer system going into a 4K camera or the 2.7. So all you gotta do is unscrew, just unscrew the cover and then uh, do just like I did, get a screw through there and two nuts and then you can lock it solid to the direction you want it. So there we go. Um, and it's going to be until I can get a new, uh, new camera, new camera for it. And that just took the, it just took the place of this for now. I want to keep, I want to keep that because when I get a 4k camera, then I, or a, uh, another camera, then I can hang it from the top of that. And then, uh, as well as see where the heck I'm going. And that worked out. That worked out fantastic. Yeah, buddy. So, let me keep those screws together so I don't lose them. Not that I need them for anything. And I see the little bearing. A little bearing shot out of there, I mean. got a little bearing here that that gimbal rides on you unscrew there's a screw in there you can take the whole take this whole thing off of here um, especially if you're going to just replace it this is good and all you got to do is pop that and you got a little uh, little bearing here that goes under that it helps support its rotation so. And it fits inside of that there. So, alrighty. Put those screws in there, screws in there. Maybe what happened to those screws? I don't want but Anyway, I am done. That's going to work on that. Yep, yep, yep. Sit down. Which way that's facing. Alright, well I'm done. Let's see, now I have a spare. Spare 30, 32 gigabyte. Alright, so there we are. That's how I did it. Again, quick quick thing, I just used the, the original cover off of the original gimbal. Now I can and I put the Things right on through there like that. Put your lock down piece on here so you don't, if she decides to disappear on you. Alright, because I don't want to use both of them if I can help it. And there you go. Now it's anti, now she is absolutely anti vibration. And uh, that's going to work great. So, there we go. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and definitely subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next Altitude 360.